Hi everyone, welcome to this training video. We are here in the works record as a HA and we're going to demo how you would add an inspection to this work. Uh, take it away, Paul. Okay, so here I am in the work record and I'm going to scroll down here. Um, imagine I'm an inspector, maybe I'm out on site with my um, iPad or, uh, you know, um, Android phone or whatever it might be, um, or I've come back to the office, whatever it is, I'm going to add an inspection. Okay. What are the inspection details? Well, that job was in progress, so I'm going to do a live site inspection this time. Actually, Kat, let's cheat and do a reinstatement inspection. Um, it's a bit more interesting, that's all. Um, we'll do a routine inspection. I was just walking down the street and I uh, found this. And if you scroll down, uh, if you can give me the current um, date and time, that would be fantastic. One fine day, maybe we can pre-populate this, you know, that could absolutely be done in the future. So if I do failed low now, if I choose that, let's see what happens. Continue. So which areas are non-compliant is the question you're asked. And we've updated this list a little bit from the uh, Inspections Code of Practice. Didn't do this off our own backs at all. We, we spent a lot of time with the um, Inspections Working Group and they came up with this list and we just put it into Street Manager for them. So um, I am not happy with the, um, the proximity on this one, Kat. Uh, proximity not good, maybe. We're seeing the, the limits of my technical understanding of uh, reinstatements. Um, and if we also fail it for um, uh, incorrect materials, yeah. just the materials are, are not correct, Kat. They are incorrect. Literally. Fantastic. Fantastic. And if you go down now, we can submit that. So I am the inspector. I don't need to enter my name. But if I was in the office doing this on behalf of the inspector, I can write my name in. Um, I don't have any additional comments. But, you know, if you've been at a site meeting or something or, you know, you might definitely want to include some uh, details there. Of course, I want to schedule a reinspection. And um, it's going to be a... Um, a reinstatement inspection and it's going to be oh no beg, beg my pardon it's going to be a non-compliance follow-up and we'll start with a joint site visit hopefully and if you put that in for um you know a bit late next week maybe the beauty of street manager is if you if you enter a, a time as well i am now proposing to the um promoter that you know, why don't we have a site meeting on this date at um, this time? And um, we, we won't have any photo evidence, um, Kat. We'll save that for the FPN journey episode. But of course, you would normally do some uh, photo evidence. So if you say no in this case. Uh, and if you submit that inspection, As always, if you want to change any of those details, you could have done. So now if you can go home for me. And if you go to the um, inspections on the left hand side there. This this list will look much the same, whether you're a promoter or a highway authority. Um, you can limit it by the, um, the time period. But let's just look at the whole list at the moment. Um, so here, I'm, I'm logged in as the highway authority, so it's telling me who the promoter is. Equally, if I log in as the promoter, it will tell me which highway authority has sent me this inspection. Um, and you can see that the one we just did is at the top of the list as a scheduled inspection. So in the old days of Eton, you couldn't see as the um, 
promoter when the next inspection was going to be. But now you can go, oh, they're proposing a joint site visit at two o'clock on the 18th. Great. OK, I can tell our inspector to be there at that time or I can um, you know, propose a new, a new time. Um, and also, of course, you can see that there's another scheduled inspection booked in for three weeks time on another job. And you can say, ah, we haven't actually fixed that, that non-compliance yet we can get over there before they inspect it next time and sort that. So it can act as a bit of a, um, a memory aid to you to go and get some of your uh, non-compliances fixed with a bit of luck. So I just wanted to show people in this video um, raising an inspection and how this um, list page works as well.